Hello fellow Helldivers and welcome back. The laser cannon just got a huge buff and now is even better than it ever was before. For example, within the patch notes the weapon now has increased damage against durable enemy parts, increased armour penetration and improved control of the weapon. Now if you are familiar with the weapon itself, it has a near unlimited ammo but requires consistent hits to gradually chew through enemies health. With the pros of having near unlimited ammo in hand, you also have the downside of the weapon overheating quite easily. This can vary from target to target and will require the player to be patient when firing it and also waiting for its cooldown to go. Before it got buffed, it felt slightly weaker to use against most enemies as it would take a considerable amount of time to kill the more tougher enemies overall. Add in the overheat feature and it felt more like a pea shooter rather than an actual laser. With the buff now, it can easily destroy a light and medium based armoured unit in a matter of seconds depending on where you fire it. So against a charged leg that has been briefly shattered and not destroyed, a one full beam against a leg will likely kill the charger in a matter of seconds. This goes the same for the Brew Commanders and Bio Titans as well for their exposed areas. Although I have noticed that the support weapon seems to kill much faster when you focus on their main weak points that are already there to action such as the charger's exposed butt area. However, I just want to make some things clear with players when using the given weapon as I don't want to oversell on the weapon being god tier. The support weapon is only good when attacking available weak points, shattered armour or no armoured units. It has no effect against full armour that has not been shattered or destroyed yet and I test this out as I saw way too many people say this destroys armour without giving no reason or example shown. It has got room to be used as a primary weapon though, but depending on the difficulty you play, you may want to avoid using this if too much enemies start to appear and you have no way of dealing with them all at once while prioritising targets. And another thing, try pairing this with your laser rover and orbital laser for an all out laser build as it works great against both bugs and robots and the build of damage over time does provide a huge benefit when swapping to your main weapon to finish. So there we have it, that's all I wanted to say about the new laser cannon buff. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub bar here. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.